Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kimberly Guilfoyle, National Chair, Trump Victory Finance Committee. get this party started, right? Oh yeah, nothing like a pre-game for the president of New Hampshire. Let's show him the love. So I must tell you, I absolutely love being at these rallies. Same, right? We love it. Because when I look out into this amazing crowd, you know what I see? Four more years! 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 Yes! Love it. That'll get them triggered real quick, right? Oh my goodness. And it is everyone in this room, each and every one of you, and across this incredible country, who will be keeping America great. And this is a fight that we must have. Everything is riding on this. Everything is on the line for this incredible country that we call America. This is a fight because it's not just about us in this room. It is about our children and future generations. And I think about this a lot, about what this fight personally means to me. I think about my son Ronan, about my parents, about my mom who came and was born in Aguadilla in Puerto Rico, and my father who came from Ireland. And my parents were able to live and breathe their American dream. And my father came to this country and became a citizen the legal and lawful way and did not cut the line. And then after feeling so blessed by this incredible country that he called home, that he loved so dearly, he enlisted in the United States military and served proudly in the Army. That is the way you give back to the country that you love. I want to make sure that that American dream that my parents came here to pursue is available to each and every one of our brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, friends, and maybe some frenemies, right? Why not? Why not? That's right, we love our president. I love the president too. He's my friend for 14 years. What an incredible man. What an incredible patriot the best president that this country has ever seen. Woo! Now you see how good that felt? Oh boy, so here you go. Yet tomorrow, there is a group of self-proclaimed and closeted socialists running to replace Donald Trump. They are asking, they are expecting to get your support. But what they are asking you to support is to fundamentally break the promise of our nation and we will not let them do that. We say no to skyrocketing taxes no to open borders to child and sex traffickers. No to sanctuary cities and states that provide a safe haven for criminals. 
We say no to more crime and deadly drugs. We say hell no to stagnant wages and less job opportunities. They want to abolish the private health care that currently covers more than 800,000 New Hampshire residents. You want to keep your insurance? Vote for Trump. That's right, give me some Trump, Trump, Trump. And with the Green New Deal, or I like to call it the Green New Steel. Yeah, thumbs down on that one. That would force New Hampshire into recession. No way. That is the Democrats' America, but that's not our America. And this is what we're up against in this election. And that is why we are all here tonight. And I'm glad you're here, because as we come together like this, we are sending a clear message that will be heard resoundingly across the world. Because under President Trump, America will never be a socialist country. that feels good. We're going to keep saying that for about four more years. Now, the stock market is hitting new highs all the time, breaking records. The economy is booming, the Trump economy. And this is after hitting a 12-year high on the border. Illegal border crossings are plummeting under Trump. And Mexico is finally working with the United States to enforce their borders and end illegal crossings. The wall is being built, and by the end of the year, more than 450 miles of border wall will be completed. Thank you, Trump. That's right, build that wall. America is respected abroad, finally, once again, and jobs are coming back into our country instead of out. President Trump has added more than 7 million new jobs across the country and nearly 18,000 right here in the Granite State. Thank you, Trump. New Hampshire's unemployment rate of 2.6 is tied for sixth lowest in the country under President Trump. And I say this as a mother to the families who have been devastated by the plague of the opioid epidemic. We hear you and President Trump hears you and he is here to stand for you and to help save your families, your brothers and your sisters from drug addiction with the help of God. Thanks to the work of this administration, New Hampshire has in fact experienced a drop in both overdoses and deaths caused by opioids. And addressing this crisis remains a top priority for this president. And finally, after the do-nothing Democrats spent more than a year, shame on them, obstructing the president for fulfilling his promises and renegotiating NAFTA, Congress has finally delivered the USMCA to his desk and the president signed it. Trade with Canada and Mexico supports more than 54,000 jobs in New Hampshire. 54,000, including 3,500 manufacturing jobs. This new deal is a major win for America and for New Hampshire, which exports more than one 
$1.5 billion worth of goods to Canada and Mexico. That's what you do here. Thank you, New Hampshire. Oh, but those Democrats, they don't care about the facts. They don't care about the results. They are blinded by their pursuit of power and infighting. Honestly, I believe they've developed a disease, Trump derangement syndrome. But I got a cure, baby. I got a cure. Four more years of Trump, yes. I love it. Shame it's only four, right? <laughs> Nancy Pelosi and the squad of socialists. Oh. And the rest of the lost boys and girls of the Democrat Party completely lost it with their bogus impeachment that was finally defeated because President Trump was acquitted. They're crying over their spilt milk and ripped up papers because it was a tragedy for America, a tragedy for the House of Representatives. It was a tragedy, ladies and gentlemen, for the United States Constitution. They showed no regard for it whatsoever. And it was a tragedy for the rule of law and for our system of checks and balances. But hear me now, they may have lost their minds, but we have not lost our way. And the biggest tragedy for them is yet to come because it will be when they suffer a crushing defeat on November 3rd, 2020 on election day. And that's when we will say, as a country, rest in peace when we take the gavel out of Nancy Pelosi's hand. God, this is just getting so good, right? Her too? <laughs> Well, I got news for you, because we're also going to expand our majority in the Senate with pro-Trump America First Senators. Because unlike the do-nothing Democrats, our president has delivered and exceeded his promises. Seven million new jobs. And when he is reelected, he will deliver millions more. Thank you, President Trump. 600,000 manufacturing jobs. Unemployment claims have hit a 49-year low. And on average, beautiful, amazing New Hampshire families have received $1,400 back in tax cuts under President Trump, generating more than 5,000 new jobs. Amen. And across the board, because President Trump lifts everyone up. African-American unemployment, historic lows. Hispanic unemployment is the lowest it has ever been. Si se puede. Asian-American unemployment is the lowest it's ever been. Women's unemployment is the lowest it's been in 65 years. No one has worked harder for the women of this country than President Trump. And God bless our veterans, because under President Trump, their unemployment is the lowest rate in nearly 20 years. They are valued. They are cared for. We have a president that stands for the veterans of this country and for the military. And a president who stands for our flag. Thank you, President Trump. And more than 6 million Americans lifted off of food stamps. Incredible, amazing, lifelong and generational change. 
not to mention 13 regulations cut for every new one because he is draining the swamp. Are you excited by that record? Because America is back, baby! That's right. He's getting it done. How can you not be excited by that record? It is incredible, and I want to leave you with this. As 2020 approaches, be tireless, be engaged, and work with us to spread President Trump's message. It's all of you, each and every one of you, who will be making the difference in keeping America great and delivering President Trump for more years. Crop TV.